So not only did we find out that this bitch right here is a dragon slayer, she's a blade dragon slayer. No, not only that. We found out about the fucking fourth generation uh, dragon slayers and that she's the fifth dragon uh, generation dragon slayer. A dragon eater. And that's not even it. She from a whole guild full of they ass. So chapter four, you know what I'm saying? They bad day at that damn city where they got to meet up with the damn water god. They go to this damn hotel and it's this fish in there. This motherfucker started talking to him when Natsu picked it up. It was a whole motherfucking human. He told him if you're going to stay in the city, drink this damn complimentary drink that's in their damn rooms. So because he letting them stay there as he go on his date. So they drink that shit, right? That's when Gray wake up. And he underwater. So he go outside. And the whole fucking city's underwater. And he can still breathe and shit. Everybody can breathe. So the receptionist dude walked up to Gray. And he told him that they looking for some humans. Just like there was some other humans that came the other day. Then he asked him about the water god. That's when the motherfuckers started tripping. Trying to attack they ass and shit. And back in Magnolia, that damn uh, one girl that's in love with Natsu, her damn ass got a tail. Chapter 5, like I said, she got a tail and shit, but the motherfucker disappeared. And she act like it wasn't there, so they're like, oh, hell no, nah, this bitch suspicious as fuck. Then over at the Sabretail uh, Guild, uh, Jalal, he looking for her ass too. Talking about her name is unknown. And stay away from her for under, uh, under any of circumstances. Back at that city with Lucy and them, these motherfuckers got an idea. Lucy turned them all into fishes using Gemini's power and fucking, uh, they used that to go get some intel in the city. That's when they asked about them fucking, uh, the people that was still there. Natsu smelled they ass, so he went straight towards it. And it was old girl ass. So on chapter six, they go up in there and they see that their, her ass got this fucking tattoo on her fucking shoulder. She wakes up because the water dragon god pop up. She break up out of her shit easy as hell, talking about she been waiting on his ass. Cut the fuck up out of that fucking cage. Then go get on his ass. The fucking damn water dragon use his damn water breath. It's roar. Fucking blow up that whole little spot. So she go around that motherfucker, right? Licking her lips and shit. Then she was like, enough. I'm finna slay your ass. Dragon slayer secret technique. Blade dragon sword dance his ass. Cut his ass up into pieces. Then she picked his ass up. Ate his ass. That's when they realized she a dragon slayer. And she noticed that wasn't the real fucking water god. Then she went to go get it for a fight with fucking Natsu. That's when they ass clashed for a second. Then she got to explaining the fact that he's a first generation uh, dragon slayer. Second's got the lacrimum inside of him. Third got the lacrimum and was trained by dragons. And the far off land fourth was created by magic power alone. And the fifth generation, which she is, they're dragon eaters. And she got a whole guild of them motherfuckers. Her name is Kyria, the blade dragon.